Hello, you lamentable fuck beasts. Jim Sterling here, and this is Firefighters The Simulation. I like how they've not called it Firefighter Simulator. It's like they're ashamed of that now. Ashamed of they They've got the same font as all the other simulator games, but no, this is The Simulation. Except no substitutes. Let's just dive right in. This music's got me fired up. Yeah, I'll play the tutorial. I'll learn how to play. Why not? It's a simulation after all, so I, I don't fight fires in real life. Too fat to go down the pole. So this is going to be very useful to me. Hi there, you've got to be that new fireman on our team, right? We've been waiting for you. You're lucky because the boss and most of the crew are out doing training. Had the, well, I should be there then. If I'm new, this isn't lucky at all. Okay, whatever. Had the boss been here, he'd have dragged you around the whole station, but we'll cut it short and I'll only show you the most important. That's... Lives are on the line! You'll find out the rest on your own! <laughs> when you've got a fucking smoke-choked child dying in your hands, or what? Anyway, follow them. Okay, press F to continue. Oh my god, what's wrong with your back, sir? That's not right. Okay. We'll go, go along with it anyway. What? It's even worse from directly behind. That looks... Oh, frame rate is not doing great. It's very stuttery looking. Let's have a look at this. Uh, aqua refreshment. Refreshing, sorry. Aqua refreshing. Font through me. He's very pleased with his aqua refreshing. Some high resolution JPEGs there. We'll look out the window. Very excited to go out into that world and start fighting some fires. I get very nice music though. The soundtrack really is hammering home the emotional importance of firefighting. Like in that uh, Christian film, Fireproof. Which happens to be one of the best films ever made. Okay. Oh, overturn there. I have no idea where I'm going now. I, I thought I was following him, but he's, he's fucked off. F1. Okay, that doesn't help me. Wh where are you, firefighter man? Did you go in one of these doors? Is that... No, that's someone else. What's your deal? Nothing, you're just gonna stand there looking creepy, huh? What you looking at? Ah. Why are they stood like this? The fingers all splayed out? Like some sort of weird... He-Man toy. You're all, oh my god, he's looking at his twin brother across the room. Two brothers who can never be together. Curse to, oh no. He got bored of the curse. Well, I was going to do a whole Greek tragedy about these two and then he's ruined it by fucking off. All right, screw you too. You're doing fine work though, sir. You carry on. Okay, thanks for opening the door. Oh. You rude tit. They just open... They they automatically open when people go past them. That's amazing. He's going to do it here as well. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yay! And through the door. Maybe he's a ghost. Maybe he's the future ghost of the one in the room. The one in the room is going to die. And then his ghost is going to do all this. With that weird sachet walk. Anyway, let's just double check these rooms. Nothing. Nothing. Man, I almost. Almost didn't want to do a video today. Oh! There goes the other one. Wasn't really feeling up to it today, but I thought, fuck it, I'll try something. And then I had two videos didn't work out, as is often the case. Sometimes you get a bad game or something that just doesn't want to play. Oh, wait, no, 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 we were going up this way. Get off the fucking wall! But anyway, I'm glad I did now. Okay, so... The bizarre creature we were following didn't go this high up the stairs. That's alright, we will try every single- oh my god, there's two of them. Ah, here we go, the heart of the fire station, our centre of command. 
We receive fire reports and coordinate operations from here. All right. You've got the same face as the other ones. Mr. Fuhrer Wear. That's the name of his uh, favorite brand of clothing. He, he wears Fuhrer Wear. Okay, he's going upstairs. So this is the command center where one brother and another brother are detailing the day's events. Some coffee there. All right. So he went up the stairs. See where he went. They've all got the same face. Do I have the same face in this? I don't know. There's nothing reflective. Right. Okay, one of our bedrooms. Your bed's that single one on the right. Okay. Oh, wow. Way to make a guy feel ostracized. Our shift started at 8 a.m. and lasts 24 hours. And you may only catch a nap for no longer than four hours in that time. If you hear the alarm, get dressed ASAP and run to your vehicle. If you miss out on your resting hours, you can use them later. Okay. Taller than us as well. They're all weirdly, like, like weird elongated torsos. I think that's the problem. I think that the, yeah, the whole torso piece is just not working with the legs. I mean, that ain't normal. I say that as he just walks through a door as if it wasn't there. Oh, God, get me out of this horrible station of bizarre elongated clones. Okay, so the conference rooms where you go at the start of each day to learn which vehicle has been assigned. Hear about the tasks. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. You squirm out here. You bizarre worm creature. That's that's what it is. You're a worm creature with some vaguely human face, I suppose. Oh, fuck me. What a tutorial. It can't be so easy just to break this. This brand melder and get us out of here. Get off. One of those games where if you get near a fucking surface, it automatically grinds them to a slow, embarrassing halt. Why games do that? If I'm near here, just let me walk normally. Oh shit, here's where the action happens. Are all the people we're going to rescue, like, just all be the same men as well? I can't wait to find out. You can probably guess it's the garage. All our vehicles that are not in action are waiting dispatch, getting cleaned. Okay. Cool, cool. So here we just survey our vehicles. Lots of different types. Obviously, you want the proper fire trucks. This one with the ladder, that's the most fire truck looking fire truck. This one's pretty good as well. This is a Furaware brand. But uh, this is the one. That's the one we want. Anyway, let's follow this guy. I love that I can waste that much time just fucking about with fire trucks. And he's barely gone anywhere. Hello. You look exactly like this man over here. But you're not worried about that. You're just fascinated by a box. You don't think it's weird that everyone in this fire station looks exactly like you and they're wearing the... Uh, no? You're just gonna... You're just gonna fuck off, are ya? Alright. Where are you going? I hadn't moved on to you. I was gonna point out that you're just staring at clothes. Clothes that I guess you're not allowed to wear because you're wearing the clone uniform that everyone else is. Oh fuck, where did he go? Is that him out there? No. Where did the fire truck man go? Here we are. Vehicle wash, where you prep the vehicles for action. Each driver is responsible for their vehicle. Daily inspection, keep it clean. Maintenance work between ops. Check your vehicle in the morning. Okay. Wash your vehicle outside when the weather's nice, but keep in mind the length of the hose. Well, that's something you've always got to be mindful of. Although I imagine your hoses are all identical because you're the same person. Alright, you'll find everything you need for maintenance on this table. If you find that something's busted in your vehicle, just grab the right tools, fix it yourself. Stand in front of the vehicle with the tools, it'll be done. Just don't tinker with it, or you'll catch heat from the boss for wasting time. Gotcha. That's it, just walk straight through me as if I'm not there. Okay, variety of tools here. 
and let's follow this tool back outside. There we go. Is that it? I hope so. I'm just hungry for firefighting action. Ooh, why is that car all busted up? It's not a good look for the fire department. Also, this is the world's biggest fucking... I mean, I guess parking lot? It's not really a parking lot, it's the driveway. I've seen fire stations before. They just have like a short driveway to get right out onto the road so they can start fighting fires. Where did Bollockhead go? Oh shit, he was headed for the busted car. Right, explain this. You've got the training tower on the right and a car wreck with some boxes on the left. Where you, ah, training, you see. You can practice on your own between ops. I wouldn't put it right outside your front fucking doorstep, though. Okay, get to the fight gate. Gearbox, press F. Available training depends on the type of vehicle you've been assigned. Okay. Oh shit, we can jump. And we got legs! So you just don't normally see that in these kinds of games. Shit yeah! I can stand on a box. I can't do anything. Can I get into the junk pile? No. Even firefighters have their limits. Alright, what's this problem? Water source. Refill water tenders. Check the fuel level while you're at it. There are several petrol stations in this area. Refill water tenders at hydrants. All marked on the map. Helps to have a map you can display hide comma key. Zoom in out with plus minus. Oh shit, is that a yeah, the tour ends there? Fuck you, sunshine. I've got a rabbit to look at. Look, it ain't even running away. Fuck off. Oh shit, yes. Now this game's gotten good. That's a really bad looking rabbit though. I mean, as if anything's looked great so far. Uh, what's your deal? You're not even running away. Rabbits round here run away. That's, by round here, I mean in real life. Oh, off he goes. Anyway. Right, what's the... What's the situation? Am I on duty? I don't know. I didn't read the end of that tutorial message because I saw a bunny rabbit. Out of my way. Uh, briefing room? I guess. That was top floor, wasn't it? Conference room? He said that's where you begin your day. Out of my way, dick and balls. Up the stairs, up the stairs. Ah! It's starting to get dark outside. 7 Eleven. At night, even. Can I just go to sleep? No. No option to go to sleep. Alright, give me my assignment, sunshine. No one here. Alright. I haven't even got an F1. The F1 key was helping me. Okay. Well, he only showed us a few places, so logically there's only a few places we could go. You can't even talk to anyone. You can't do anything. Sucks. I'm gonna take it I'm not following you anymore. No, that you're just wandering into here. Probably for a quick wank. Someone give me something to do. Alright, I'm gonna go back out and look at those guys who are clipping into each other. <laughs> You're a pair of idiots! Just doing anything to try and get a reaction out of these people. Nothing. We're, uh... Doing some fun things to the carpet, though. I say carpet, it's tiling. It's not carpet at all. That's the only interaction I've managed to get out of the game so far. How exciting. Can I open this? Yes, please. There we go. That's night. And I'm armed. Guess maybe they want us to play uh, training for a... No. No. I can't get any further. It's not letting me... No. Maybe it's because I'm holding this. How do I drop it? There we go. Try that again. Yeah. 
It's oh no, your worst working day has ended. Press the F key to get some rest. <laughs> All right. So yeah, it, it was just wander around and waste time for a minute. Continue. Yeah, I was gonna do save as if I'm gonna turn this on again ever when I'm done. All right. Come on. I need to simulate more firefighting. Good morning, everyone. I'm very busy today, so I'll outline the most important points only. They're very casual here at this place. Okay. Thank you. I was waiting for you to highlight the things. You say you're busy, and then you make me wait. I'm assigning you the survey vehicle Florian 1 for today. You can carry on with your routine and training until something comes up. Most importantly, you need to make sure that your vehicle is always ready for action. Okay. Are we done? Your vehicle looks fine from the outside. I hope it's fully functional. Okay. That's about it. Get started with your tasks and keep alert. Okay, we got our map. Helps to have one of those. Look, they're all kitted out now. Okay, you know what? It's time we fought some fires, isn't it? Let's, uh... Oh, there we go. So... That's, that's not the one we get. We get this. Open this up. Let's get out of here. It's firefighting time. Out on the streets. Find us some fires and kick the wall. This is hard to control. This has quite a wild swing to it. We can indicate though. But I'm going to put on hazards so that people know that I'm here to fight hazards. Probably need a siren as well. How do we do that? Got lights. There we go. What does N do? Put them on as well. Q as well. What's that? Air conditioning. All the lights are blinking. Now we're ready for action. We've got different camera styles as well. We can have a look at that. I left the uh, the back doors open. Just to give the robot inside a bit of air. Get stuffy in there, you know? Right up its ass. Right on the side. None of those are good. F5's the only one that is halfway decent, even though you can't look behind yourself. You actually... The mirror is nothing. And this is as far back as I go. Brilliant. Oh, this is fantastic. Out of my way, you! I've got fire stuff fight! Oh. I was expecting there to be a wonderful collision there, but there was literally nothing. God, can I even break this? Not that's what I'm trying to do, of course. I'm testing, since I've got no real job at the moment uh, in the game, I'm testing the durability of the vehicle by slamming into this concrete column. Nothing. No collision, no noise. May as well have never happened. May as well have never happened. I'm turning... That shit off, that's annoying me now. Keep the hazards on though. Gotta have some blinking lights going. Dispatch order for Florian 1. Emergency reported in a hospital on the coast. Smoke has been sighted above that area to get there fast if it's really a fire extinguisher ASAP. Oh shit on my daddy's biscuits. No time for the roads. Let's cut across. This is Florian 1. Do copy. How am I going to fight a fire though? This is just a shitty little van. Oh fuck, I can see the smoke already. Oh bollocks. Oh shit, this is bad. Oh, this is wrong. Oh, this isn't good. How do it right? Okay. Oh no. Oh no. It's a, it's a it's an ashtray fire. Oh fuck. What can you do? H. Okay. What can you do? What can you do? It's got a light. It's got a light. Okay. Y and X. The, these controls are terrible. C and V and then B and N. Okay. Somehow, we are going to operate this to deal with this. No, we're not. I'm fooling myself. Right. If 
we can just massage the fire out. Just massage... No. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to abandon that. I can't abandon that. Escape does nothing. I... I can't... I can't quit the robot. I can't get out the... Maybe I've got to drive it back. Let's drive it back. We've disappeared. We've literally become the robot. Hello, you lamentable fuckbeast. Jim Sterling here, and this is Rogue Robot Patrol. It's a brand new game I've just invented. Uh, basically, this tells the story of a robot that goes rogue after getting hit by lightning, probably, like in short circuit, and gains a will of its own and decides it doesn't want to fight fires anymore um, because it wants to become a pop star. Yeah, that'll do. So we're playing the robot that, that's ignoring a fire because it doesn't understand human mortality. It doesn't realise it's done a terrible thing. Uh, because it, it, it's decided it wants to be a, a, a singer-songwriter. It features dynamic camera action, right down the length of the robot's shaft there, so we can get intense first-person perspective, close up, far away. We are going to go first-person, rogue robot. Let's try and catch ourselves a ride. Sir! No, no! Sir, please. I'll try and flag it down. Hold on. Car! Hello! Hopefully the cars will see my waving. Come on. I don't think they're going to see the waving. Put on a light, though. Draw some attention. Okay, well, uh, we're going to continue, because we're on the run right now. This is pretty scary stuff. Rogue Robots found a home. We live here now. This is our house. Just got to find the door to the house so we can live in it. Running a corner here. We found a trash can wheelie bin more specific two of them in fact oh this must be a very clean house here's the front door can robot our way in we've got some uh, feeding slop outside that's going to be useful keep the robot nutritioned I want to see if you can make the robot go in the ocean, but it is 7.17, so we may not make it in time. But we are going as fast, literally, as we can to see if we can make it. We've got half a minute to do it, and we are less than halfway there from the road, so I don't think we're going to. The moon is out already. Oh god, I can see the ocean. And a ship! They even put a ship there. How thoughtful of them. Well, hopefully the robot will join it and become an ocean robot looking at dolphins and shit, you know? Like sonar and coral reefs have a little camera fixed to it and then it can go look at all the sea life and use its grabby hand to like catch rare starfish and sell them to the aquarium how about that how about that for exciting here we go get in the sea get in the sea okay there we go there we Oh. 